Revelation knowledge is spirit and life. It has superhuman power to change us and to create a miracle in our circumstances. All right, one, one more point, right? one last point. Go with me to Colossians chapter 3 and verse 5, Colossians 3. Because here we see how we meet God in the revelation. I'm not just talking about how you study. I'm just talking about what you discuss. I'm not talking about hate knowledge here. But how you meet God in your encounters, in your revelation, how you see Him will ultimately transform us. If in your revelation, God comes to you as a mighty warrior, you're going to have a mighty warrior change. <laughs> you're going to become that. If God comes to you in a revelation as a person who loves worship, you're going to become a super anointed worshiper. What you see concerning God, how you meet Him, how you see Him, will cause you to change into that particular vision of Him that you receive. So let me show you this, all right? Colossians chapter 3 and verse 5. Therefore, put to death your members who are on the earth. Now, this is not talking about your physical member. I know some of you wish that you can do that, but it's not, all right? <laughs> this is your physical body. This is old English. It means your body. Put to death your body. Very scary, huh? Put to death your members. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's talking about your fleshly nature. So what do you put to death? Those fleshly nature in our physical body. Fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, covetousness, which is idolatry. But now you yourselves are to put off all these. Now, here the Bible was talking to Christians, right? Anger, real, wrath, Malice, blasphemy, filthy language, out of your mouth. Amazing, huh? You know, the Bible writes to Christians and says, come on, stop using vulgar words. Verse 8, verse 9. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds. Now, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. You know that God wants us to break off from those sinful nature of our old lifestyle, our bad habits, our addictions. I mean, that's the reason why we became Christians, right? We, we want to be better people. We want to know God and become a better person. So we want all those addictions and bad habits and bad characteristic traits to be, to be dealt with. So to put off the old man. But we try. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you try to discipline yourself to turn over a new leaf, and yet you keep falling into the same sin pattern. Sometimes you attend seminars, it didn't help. You go for rehab and you help for a short season and you fall back into it. And, and we try and you try and I try and all of us try. And why is it so hard to live that godly life that God wants us to live? There is a key. There is a way. It's found in verse 10. So the way you pull off the old man, verse 10 says, and have put on the new man, that means the new nature, the godly nature, who is renewed in knowledge, epinosis, according to the image of him who created us. Now, let's unpack this. We are renewed. Literally, it means renovated. So those of you in the renovation business, you know this. Right? You go to a house, you go to a flat, everything is, is in a bad shape. You renovate and Three weeks later, it looks fantastic. Now, God wants to renovate us. He wants to renovate our mind, our thinking pattern. He wants to renovate our heart. He wants to renovate our lifestyle. He wants to put in new structure to break down fleshly structure that is wrong, uh, fleshly pattern, sinful lifestyle that is wrong. He wants to renovate us. But this renewal is according to epinosis. Revelation. It's not rehab that helps for a, certain, for a short season. It's not just reading a counseling book. It's not just attending a course. But this is according to Revelation. So that tells you one thing. Yes, you can go for prayer and for ministry and momentarily you feel better and you can still go back to it. Unless you have a revelation of who God is, what He wants in your life, what is He saying to you. 
unless you receive a revelation that you can cling your faith to, and out of that, you receive that divine nature. And once the divine nature comes in, the sin structure begins to break. Supernatural thing. Supernatural thing. All right? Now, so, revelation, knowledge of what? Who God is and His nature, His ways, His love for you, His character. And we will be transformed. Now, notice what it says. Look at the verse again. Put up the verse again. Who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of Him. So what is the image of God in your revelation? How do you see God? How does God reveal Himself to you? If God reveals Himself as Abba Father, Abba, loving Father, I tell you something changes. And all of a sudden, you are changed into the image of the encounter. 